Have you ever gazed upon the moon and wondered about its different appearances? This celestial body holds a significant role in our existence. It's not just a pretty nightlight in the sky. The moon guides our tides, marks our calendars, and stages the spectacle of eclipses. Now, let's delve into the lunar cycle, a dance that the moon and Earth have been performing for billions of years. It starts with the new moon, a shy performer that gradually reveals itself in the waxing crescent phase. The first quarter is when the moon shows us half of its radiant face. As it moves to the waxing gibbous stage, we see more than half, but not quite the full moon. The full moon is when the lunar spectacle reaches its zenith, bathing the Earth in its silvery glow. Then, as if bowing out of a performance, it enters the waning gibbous stage, followed by the third quarter and finally the waning crescent, before it disappears to start the cycle anew. So the moon we often take for granted has a lot more to it than meets the eye. But did you know there are rare types of moons that sometimes grace our night sky? Let's begin our lunar journey with the blood moon. Now don't let the ominous name fool you. This lunar phenomenon is merely a result of a total lunar eclipse. When the Earth aligns perfectly between the Sun and the Moon, it casts a shadow, bathing our lunar companion in a mesmerizing deep red hue. Hence, the term Blood Moon. Next, we have the Blue Moon. Contrary to its name, the Moon doesn't actually turn blue. The term Blue Moon is used to describe the second full moon within a single calendar month. A rarity indeed, as this celestial event only graces our night sky roughly once every two and a half years. Then comes the black moon. This mysterious moon is essentially the mirror image of a blue moon. It's the second new moon in a single calendar month. Just like the blue moon, it's a rare spectacle, occurring approximately every two and a half years. Last but certainly not least, we have the micro moon. This is when the moon is at its furthest point from the Earth during its elliptical orbit, known as apogee. This results in a moon that appears slightly smaller to the naked eye, hence the name micro moon. Each of these moons is a celestial spectacle, a testament to the wonders of our universe. Speaking of spectacles, have you ever heard of supermoons? These celestial events are nothing short of dazzling. A supermoon occurs when the moon is at its closest approach to Earth in its elliptical orbit, making it appear larger and brighter than usual. This close proximity to our planet amplifies its luminosity, creating an atmospheric spectacle that lights up the night sky. So. Why is it called a supermoon? Well, it's a term coined from astrology, not astronomy, and it's used to describe this larger-than-life lunar appearance. But don't be fooled, it's not just about size. The supermoon's intensified brightness can give the illusion of being closer than it really is. Despite the many faces it wears, there is, after all, only one moon orbiting our Earth, a constant companion in our journey through space. So there you have it the moon in all its glory. We've journeyed through the lunar cycle, from the new moon to the waning crescent, and marveled at the rarity of blood, blue, black, and micro moons. We've reveled in the magic of the supermoons brought closer to us by the moon's position in orbit. Each phase and type of moon is a testament to its crucial role in our existence, influencing tides, eclipses, and calendars. Its captivating variations are a constant reminder of its marvels. Next time you look up at the night sky, remember, you're not just seeing a moon, but a celestial body with many faces, each telling its own tale of the cosmos.